Hello class. Good day. Welcome to Mape 8, Quarter 1, Week 3, P. Physical Fitness. Physical fitness is the capacity of everyone to accomplish daily tasks with alertness and vigor. The definition implies that physical fitness is a personal matter and must be viewed within the context of an individual's daily life activities. People are different from one another. They differ in age, sex, preference, and as well as their occupational lifestyle. People are considered physically fit if they can perform their daily work efficiently and effectively with alertness and by war. There are a lot of differences among people's lifestyle. What is common to all of them is the responsibility to improve and maintain their physical fitness level. They must understand that they cannot maintain their present physical fitness level if they do not have physical activities. The law of use and disuse is applicable in their body. If they do not use it, it will deteriorate. To improve them and maintain their physical fitness level, one must engage in physical activities such as running, walking, exercises, dancing, jumping rope, etc. For the exercise or activity to be effective, it must be done at the right frequency, intensity, and duration. Physical fitness is made up of both health-related fitness components and skills-related components. The health-related fitness components relate to how well the system of your body operate. Are your heart and other muscles in good shape? Is this type of physical fitness is related to your overall state of health? The skills related fitness items are considered with abilities related to sports activity. Reading ko, sports activity. Are you fast? Do you have good hand-eye coordination? The focus of this module is on the health-related components of fitness, why they are important and how they can be improved. Health-related fitness Maintaining an acceptable level of health-related components of fitness is recognized as a key element in maintaining a healthy lifestyle. People who attain such levels of fitness reduce the risk of developing health problems such as heart disease, lower back pain, and obesity and improve their body's ability to function. This is reason why health-related fitness should be the concern of everyone, regardless of age. Components of health-related fitness. We have five components. Number one, cardiorespiratory endurance. Number two, muscular strength. Number three, muscular endurance. Number four, 
flexibility, and number five, body composition. Number one, cardiorespiratory endurance. Being able to do and continue physical activities involving the whole body for a long period of time. It is the ability of heart, lungs, and vascular system to function efficiently at moderate to high intensity over an extended period. Muscular strength. It is defined as the ability of muscle aid and a person's ability to exert maximum force. Muscular strength becomes muscular endurance when the force is extended repeatedly over an extended period. Muscular endurance. Muscular endurance refers to the ability of a given muscle to exert force consistently and repetitively over a period. It plays a big role in almost every athletic endeavor. You might think of muscular endurance as stamina. Long distance running is a uh, sports that required muscular endurance. Flexibility. It is the ability of muscles to move joints with ease to the normal range of motion. It is the ability to perform a wide range of motion easily and without strain or injury. Body composition. It's a term used often by doctors and health professionals. It refers to the percent of fat, bone, and muscle in your body. Doctors use body composition to see if your uh, health weight on your individual body. Remember that fitness is for everyone. You do not have to be a great athlete to be physically fit if you exercise regularly and follow the basic principle you will improve your health related fitness health related fitness is activities play a significant role in developing the total personality of an individual physically mentally, emotionally, socially, and spiritually. Physical Fitness Test Scorecard This is the pattern for your Physical Fitness Scorecard. I copy the format in one short band paper. After you perform the activity or the physical test, you have to put or record your scores. Planning out good exercise programs is a key in promoting and maintaining good health. Exercise programs are a great way to make sure that you are getting the most out of your workouts and that are you targeting all your muscle groups as well as getting a good cardio workout. More importantly, that makes a good workout program is when it turns into lifestyle. Many people exercise but are not getting the full benefits that exercise can provide. By planning out some exercise programs, you can make sure that you are not wasting your time. A smart guide to goal setting. We have the short-term goal 
and the long-term goal. Okay. Short-term goal is considered or developed with a finite amount of time in mind. While the long-term goal is something you can or you want to do further in future. Long-term goals are required time and planning. Before starting an exercise program, set short-term and long-term goals. These are or goals should be smart. Smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and tactical. Smart. Specific, write down what you want to achieve. Measurable, write down amount, time, days, and other measurable factors. Achievable, your goals should be realistic. Relevant, your good goals should be important to you. Tactable, recording your progress helps you see what you have achieved. What are the factors to consider during daily physical activity? Warm up. Wipe out. Cool down. Warm up. Prepares the heart, muscles, and the circulatory system as well as stretches the skeletal muscles. Workout. It always follows the FITT format. Frequency, intensity, time, type. Cool down. It helps the body recover from a physical activity. Sample warm up and cool down exercise. Calf stretch. This exercise stretch the calf muscle. Leg hug. This exercise stretch the hip and back extension muscles. Seated side stretch. This exercise stretch the muscle to or of the trunk. Hamstring stretcher. This exercise stretch the muscles of the back of the upper leg as well as the hip, knee, and ankle. Zipper. This exercise stretches the muscle at the back of the arms and the lower chest muscles. Physical activity, exercise, and physical fitness. Physical activity refers to an activity that involves the contraction of muscles. Example are gardening, walking, climbing stairs, etc. On the other hand, exercise is a specific form of physical activity that is planned and structured involved repetitive bodily movements performed to improve and maintain Physical fitness. Physical fitness. It is the set of goals that people have and or achieve that is related to their ability to perform a physical activity. Levels of physical activity. Light intensity activity. Moderate intensity activity. Vigorous activity. Light intensity activity such as walking slowly and gardening. Moderate intensity activity such as walking briskly and playing leisure sports. Vigorous activity such as jogging, running, playing competitive sports and circuit training. Background of the game Volleyball The game Volleyball was invented by William G. Morgan 
1879 to 1942. Who was born in the state of New York? He originally called the game Mintonet. Again, the first name is Mintonet. It was initially invented as a form of relaxation. During its first 100 years, it developed into high energy game required great aerobic ability. The game was first represented at the YMCA College of Springfield early in 1896. Morgan took two teams, each made up of five men and some loyal fans, to demonstrate the game. Morgan explained that the game was designed for gymnasium or exercise halls but could also be played in the open air. The object of the game is to keep the ball in the movement over a high net from one side to another. The name Mintonet was first replaced by volleyball as proposed by Professor Alfred T. Halstead after seeing the demonstration. In 1952, the administrative committee of the United States Volleyball Association voted to spell that name in one word, volleyball. The rules of new game were published in early or around July 1896 edition of Physical Education and were included in the edition of the first official, official handbook of the North American YMCA Athletic League. The game volleyball was introduced to the Filipinos by an American named Elswood S. Brown, who was the physical edu director of the Young Men's Christian Association of the YMCA in It became a popular game held in backyards and beaches in the country. The Filipinos were created their own rules of the game and used the trees as makeshift net holders. Common terms used in volleyball. Attack. The offensive action of hitting the ball. The attempt by one team to terminate the play by hitting the ball to the floor of the opponent's side. Attack block. Receiving players' aggressive attempt to block a spike ball before it crosses the net. Attacker, also a hitter or a spiker. Block, a defensive play by one or more players meant to deflect a spike ball back to the hitter's court. It may be a combination of one or two or three players jumping in front of the opposing spiker and contacting the spike ball with the hands. Double hit, successive hit or contact by the same player. So it is uh, illegal. Foul, a violation of the rules. Pass, to bat the ball to a teammate. Other common terms used in volleyball. Placement, hitting the ball on an intended spot. Point, a score made by a uh, serving team. Serve, one of the six basic skills used to put the ball into play. It is the only skill controlled exclusively by one player, server. The player who puts the ball into play. Set. The tactical skills in which a ball is directed to a point where a player can spike it into the opponent's court. Side out. Occurs when a receiving team successfully puts the ball away against the serving team. Or when the serving team commits an unforced error and the receiving team thus gains the right to serve. Spike, also hit or attack.
facilities and equipment. Court. Two is ball. And the third is net. So, in here you will see we have the diagram of the porch. Then we have the ball. It's the common color, the yellow and blue. With 262 grams. And around 65 to 67 centimeter in circumference. The net, a dimension, 1 meter wide and 9.5 meters long. Height, okay, we have that 2.43 meters for men, while 2.24 meters for women. Okay, so as you can see, they have different uh, heights. The men have higher uh, height uh, because obviously men can jump higher than women. Then, uh, another side uh, is the side marker. A removable band of the white materials, 5 cm wide, placed at the extremities of the net. Okay. The nature and objective of this game volleyball is played by two teams, each composed of six players who use their hands to volley the ball back and forth to volley the ball over the net. The objective of the game is to hit the ball over the net with certain limitations before it touches the ground and in a such a way that opponent cannot return it. The game is started by a server that serves the ball over the net behind the baseline. The rules require not more than three passes among players on each side before returning the ball. Failure to return the ball to the opponents with the specific limits result a loss of serve or the scoring of point by the serving team. Thank you for listening. Stay safe and healthy. Now we'll proceed to our performance tasks and written work tasks.